These items were purchased from Walgreens, Walmart, and Target. So let's jump right in. Hi everyone, I am here today to share with you my collective drugstore haul. As much as I love Sephora and Ulta, I definitely find myself in the drugstore more often than I find myself in a beauty supply store. So it's just more convenient. You know, when I'm picking up children's Tylenol, I can also pick up a tube of lipstick or a new eyeshadow color. So. I am going to share with you a few things that I've picked up over the last few days. Okay, so let's start with shopping. foundation. I use MAC and I also use Mary Kay and I'll list the video. I just did a review on my Mary Kay foundation. However, this year I wanted to branch out. Um, before I was only using MAC and I added Mary Kay and I also wanted to try a drugstore formula and I was very skeptical about trying um, a drugstore but formula. The formula that I see a lot here on YouTube is this um, Maybelline Fit Me. So I decided to try it. And the first time that I picked it up, I picked it up in the, the color 330. And they didn't have a darker formula. So I got this and then I decided to get 355, but they only had it in the dewy smooth. So I combined these and it was okay. However, at the end of the day, I was shiny. I was very shiny. And with the products that I currently use, the MAC and the Mary Kay, I'm usually not shiny. I don't know if it was that I didn't use a primer, um, but I'm thinking it may have something to do with this dewy smooth. And the only reason why I got the dewy smooth is because I, they didn't have a darker shade and a darker shade in the matte poreless. So, when I was out today, I did find the matte poreless at Walmart in the shade 355. So, I am going to try this and hopefully I like it. I'm hoping that I like it. This is the normal to oily. There's a light right there. This, this is the normal, normal to oily um, formula. So, I'm hoping that I like it. My goal this year was to expand with the foundations and not only use one but just have different foundations that I can use for um, different occasions so hopefully that will work um, the next item that I have for the face is one that I love and I've actually been using this product for years and it is the Iman sheer finish bronzing powder and I, I love this I love this this is my third purchase this is my third time purchasing this and since the spring and summer are here I um, decided to get another one I still have one but it's almost used up and I went ahead and got two just in case you know they change it or they don't carry it anymore but I love it and what I love about it is I love the three colors um, you can choose to only use this color here or you can use this as a blush or you can swirl the brush around and use all three colors to kind of give you a really bronzy glowing look and I, I love it I love these sheer bronzing powder can be worn as an all-over complexion enhancer or as a blush give skin a touch of bronze radiance all day and night and this is the only bronzer that I've been using um, I have another highlighter that I have from Mac um, but this is this is what I use Okay, now let's get into lipsticks because for some reason I have just been all into lipsticks lately and I wanted to try some dark shades. Why dark shades? I don't know because it's spring and summer, but I don't know. I just wanted to try some browns and um, I like the um, red lipstick colors as well. So I decided to try... Um, two brands that I don't think I have tried in lipsticks and the first one is Milani and um, these you can I think I purchased these at Walgreens I did I got them at Walgreens and this is Black Cherry pretty I have not tried these there's a light right there so hopefully <clears throat> it's not causing a glare I have not tried these, haven't even swatched them, um, 
but I will probably, you know, share with you in a update or something about how I like them. This is the double, double espresso. I'm sorry if there's a glare. I tried to add a light here so we could see the products. This is double espresso. It looks really pretty. I'm very excited to try these. It's like I said, I really had my eyes <laughs> on trying some browns and some reds. And this is a, the third one from Milani, and this is Best Red. I love a good red lipstick. And I found um, two that I like. Um, I had a MAC sample. And I think there was another one. I can't remember the other one. But I decided to try this one too. I like a good red lipstick. Best red number seven. And I picked up two lipsticks from Black Radiance. And these are, haven't been opened yet, so I'll have to show you through the tube. But this is Black Radiance, and it's number 5029. And this is. Well, let's see if I can open it. Can I? Well, this is sort of a brown. This is a brown, almost like a bronzy brown. And these are all matte. And this is a, this is 5033. Let's move the light a little bit. Can you see that? Very pretty colors, at least in the tube. I haven't tried them, so I'm hoping that they work well for me. Also for the lips, I picked up three drugstore lip liners, and all three are from Iman. And the first one is Fuchsia. And I haven't opened these. But the first one is Fuchsia. Thought this would be good for Pete's. Um, like pink lip glosses and this one is espresso and I have not purchased um, lip liners from them before and this one is what is this one spice okay now let's move on to eyes. I have quite a bit for eyes. Um, I picked up some palettes. I do like, um, I love my MAC eyeshadow, um, but I do also like Wet n Wild. And I believe Wet n Wild and Black Radiance are the same company, so the palettes typically look exactly alike. Um, so I have Wet n Wild and I have Black Radiance. And let me show you these palettes from Black Radiance. Wait a minute. Do I have wet and white? Yeah, okay. So let me show you the palettes from Black Radiance. This is the first light. This is the first one. Look how beautiful that is. That is Island Blues. Island Blues. And um, yeah, maybe I should open Okay, now I have opened it so you can see it without the glare, but I wanted to try some blue colors this spring and summer, so I thought this was good. And the Wet n Wild and Black Radiance palettes, um, I mean, their colors are usually um, pretty well pigmented. Pigmented? <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Um, so I like these. I like these. I'm excited to use that. And the next palette is another palette from Black Radiance, and this one is Downtown Browns. This is the palette, and these are just typical colors that I like to use, so I decided to pick this one up. And now I have some smaller palettes that I also picked up from Wet n Wild and one from Black Radiance. This is one from Wet n Wild, and it is called, what palette is this? Tunnel Vision. And it has the black and the shimmery silver. 
um, gray. I'm not sure what I'm going to do <laughs> with these colors, but they're actually pretty. So I may try something, I may try something a little different with them. So I'm excited to experiment with it. I was kind of in, ex in an experimentation mood, which leads me to this next palette. This is Art in the Streets. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, <laughs> but I just like the colors. The colors just kind of stood out. So, I don't know, I'm excited to give it a whirl. You know, I don't typically wear yellow or anything like that, but um, I think I saw someone else on YouTube with this palette. Maybe I can find a tutorial or something to give me some ideas. Cause I, do, I like to be toned down. I don't like to be all bright and festive. <laughs> So if I can figure out how to wear it and be different but be toned down, I will definitely do it. And the last palette from Black Radiance is Alluring. And I just thought those were really nice blue tones. Really pretty. Really pretty. I'm excited to try that um, color down there because I've been, um, over the fall and winter, I've been wearing my MAC Tempting and that is pretty much my my daily, um, you know, my daily color. I mean, I wear it on a daily basis. I wear it when we go out. This is pretty much my go-to. I did a video on it. I'll link it in the description box below if you're interested in checking that out. So I was kind of in the mood to, you know, try some other colors, pep it up a little bit for the spring and summer. Now this palette is by, is this an, uh, uh, Elf, eyes, lips, face. And I actually picked this palette up at Marshall's. And I have not used an Elf palette before. I don't think I've used any of their eye colors. It was $4.99 at Marshall's and I thought I'd give it a try. So we'll see. I don't know how pigment pigmented the colors are, but I'll give it a try. And also at Marshall's, I picked up these e.l.f. liquid eyeliners that came in a pack. This one is, um, does it have a color on it? Yes, it does, coffee. And this is silver. And this is black. And I have used this and I liked it. And what I liked about it, and you can I'll show you what it looks like. I like that the little brush is very fine. You can't really tell how fine it is on camera. Um, it looks a little larger. Can you see that? What is that? I don't know. But to me, I, I found the brush to be fine. And on the brush, because it's so fine, it doesn't pick up a lot of liquid. So I'm not used to using liquid eyeliner. I've been using gel. So when I used it, 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 there wasn't so much product on the stick that it was hard to use so it was easy it was hard to mess it up I just you know put it on the way you would you know normally brush on a liquid liner oh and it's all on my hand now but um it just didn't have a lot of product on the brush which worked out well for me because I could just do a little bit at a time to get used to using it okay still in the category of eyes Speaking of eyeliner, I also picked up the L'Oreal eyeliner and I have used this. This is the gel formula. I have used this before and I really like it. I really like it. Gel formula. And this is in the shade Black is Black. Love this one. And I'm trying another liquid eye from Milani. And I got a couple. I got these and I got Elf because I wanted to compare them and see you know what I like, but this is a Milani liquid eye and this in the shade black or in the color black. And also for the eyes, I picked up these um, shadow pencils by Wet n Wild and I picked these up at Walmart and I have never used them, but they looked interesting. And when I saw them, these are all four, when I saw them, I just thought about like a bold eye look. Um, I don't know, I would just have to experiment with them. But they're in, this is a, um, this one is sort of a blue color. 
this is sort of a purple let's see if they have a color written on there I can't tell what the color let's see okay this is this purple looking one is techno this bluish looking one is distress and this one is pixie this is a sort of a silver one that should be fun and this is graphite so it's like a gray a smoky black or gray and this this should actually be nice like for a smoky look or a dramatic eye so i have never used these so this will definitely definitely be an experimentation and for eyes, I also picked up four eyeliners from Marshalls. And these are Max Studio. And I'm not sure about the quality of these. They came in a pack, and I just decided I would give them a try. And they are in the colors, let me do one at a time, <laughs> Espresso. And that's sort of a chocolatey brown. Hunter Green, Silver, and Cabernet. And this is what the point, oh, actually, this is what the point looks like. Yeah, so these are all um, eyeliners. Okay. There's a couple more things. Um, for the face, I skipped over this. I picked up um, Iman concealers, and I have an Iman concealer that I've used and really like it. It works really well, blends in well, and covers well. And I didn't know which color I, I needed to get, so I got two. And this is, I'm looking for the shades on here. This is what they look like. Oh, and this is Clay Medium Deep. I think this is the one that I have currently. Because I got two because I didn't, I got picked up two because I didn't know which one um, I used. So I just got the two and I figured I'd probably still find a use Ugh, for them both. Well, okay, this one is Clay Medium. Okay, and I also picked up a few blushes. I have one blush in particular that I use, and it is the, um, it's a matte blush. Um, but I wanted to add some more blushes to my, my collection because, like I said, that, well, actually, no, I have two blushes. The matte blush I, I wear most often, but I also have a Milani pink blush, so I wanted to try some other blushes. So I picked up um, two from Black Radiance. And this one is Warm Berry. Let me move my light, it's causing a glare. Warm Berry. Warm Berry. And this one is, what is this one? Toasted Almond kind of brown and I don't I, obviously they're in the packages so I don't know I don't know how they're gonna work but I like this one because it's similar to the one that I have from Mac and so I thought it may give more like a deep rose type look and this one is more of a brown color and I thought that might be good on days where I don't wear um, much foundation it'll probably show it better on days when like a no makeup day where I'm just gonna throw on a little powder and blush I thought that would be good and then I got a little more adventurous with the Milani brush it Milani blushes and I picked up Coral Cove number no. five and this is pink 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 this is pink probably a little more pink than what it's showing up but it's 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 a pink like a rose color and this is more, this is um, Bella Rosa, and it is also um, pink, but it's a deeper rose, a deeper, deeper pink. See that? So I'm excited to, um, I'm excited to try these blushes. 
And the last thing that I have is this e.l.f. powder brush. This I picked up at Walmart for $3. And I've heard some good things about this brush. And so I was excited to get it and give it a try. And I think that is all other than, well, I have some things that I picked up. Um, just this is from Walmart an intensive heel repair um, for daily use on the feet I got a pet egg for the feet and this um, emery board is that what you call it oh file just some pedicure supplies and some conditioner some shea moisture conditioner and that is it. I guess that's enough, right? But I am excited to try um, some of these looks. And if there are any that I just love, and hopefully, you know, I will love them all, I will definitely be sharing those with you over the spring and summer as I try them out and work them into, you know, my own look and my own lifestyle. So I'm excited about that. And that is it. Um... That's it. You know, I think this is really cool, you know, for us to come together and talk about some things that we find at drugstores. As I know, as moms, we're in and out of the drugstore sometimes picking up little things. So, you know, it's it's good to maybe have an idea of some things to have an eye um, an eye out for it, some things to look for when we go into the drugstore. I know after I watch a, a haul, when I do go into Walgreens or Target or Walmart, sometimes I kind of have some things in mind that I've seen on hauls and it just helps me, it kind of helps me, kind of, it's like I pr can pre-shop before I go in because I have an idea of maybe what, some things I want to try. So hopefully I have done that for you today. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And I definitely invite you to subscribe for more videos. Here on Busy Being Mom, I love to talk about beauty and style, but I definitely love when we can talk about um, living more fulfilling lives and taking better care of ourselves. So if that's an interest of yours, then definitely check out my Mom's Time Out and Self Care playlist. And have a happy, happy, blessed day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.